All right, guys, so we are hoping that everything fires back up here because um, I'm <laughs> not to be uh, negative, but I'm hoping this is the last time I'm here for at least a little bit because uh, it's uh, it's been a it's been a couple trips trying to make sure all this works. And because this has been, I need to find this on Bluetooth. I think I need this. Bluetooth searchable. Let's see if that shows up. There it is. Cool. All right, everything else should be up. Pair, pair. Excellent, 30 minutes to home. This should go back and connect which it is excellent 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 and what we will do is we will start our journey and so far I've got everything connected and in the in the window my lights are still on so I am ridiculously pleased yep super pleased I also just want to do this which I need to just have this set up ready do that good turn my volume down a little bit there we go all coming together you guys are watching this video and being like are you ever gonna ride no maybe not again I'm just pleased that all my lights are working and I, I didn't even realize right that uh, maybe you guys can see it in the window all my lights are LEDs and why is that disconnected? I've got a bunch of things disconnected. So I'm hoping all that comes back together again. And this, look at that. They put it together. But that's not long enough. Oh. All right. Um, hold on. Okay, there's nothing, nothing finer than uh, getting your bike that's supposed to be all put together, and all the USBs are disconnected, the cameras disconnected, none of that got put back together. And then when I say it's not reaching and it's not connected, they blame it on me, saying that it must have been like that when it came in. And I'm like, no, it wasn't like that when I came in, because um, it was all working. Like you guys see in the videos, it's always working. You know? Oh my gosh. And, and they charged me again. So I bring the bike in with everything working Every, nothing's not working everything's working this is working my phone charger is working my USB is working I want heated grips new handlebars so they say we have to take all this part apart okay cool because they need to get new new like longer cables cool right do what you have to you know what I'm not gonna say no now because I bought all the parts that has to be done so I come back and I spend X amount of money and then of course I start blowing uh, I want to say I was blowing fuses which is what we thought it was blowing a fuse but needless to say uh, it wasn't the fuse there was a short there were, we were getting a short in one of the headlights they said well, I wasn't getting a short before I brought the bike in and you guys had torn all my stuff apart. So in theory, you would think that since I'm now blowing my fuses and blowing, you know, all this stuff because of a short and it wasn't shorting before and you guys had to take the fairing off and get to tie into the lights and everything that you would be like, hey, 
probably something we did. All good. You've come back here a couple times. I think we finally got it fixed. Off you go. Cool. No. $160 more. So remember at the beginning when I said, hey, not a, not a, it was kind of a little bit more expensive than what I thought it was going to be. Well, now it was, it turned out being uh, another $200 more expensive than what I thought it was, it was going to be on top of what it was before. So, again, you know, will I take my bike back there? I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's, it's one of the more out of the way places for me to take my bike. I like the people up at the front. I do, for sure. They, they, they I want to say they do good work, but number one, uh, they cause the issue. Number two, uh, is that when I pointed out that none of the stuff was connected and some of the stuff wasn't connecting, he said it was my fault. My fault. For what? It was working. I dropped it off. It wasn't working. And everything was un disconnected, so I had to go checking around inside to figure out what was going on. Right? No apology when uh, we figured out how to reconnect it. Be like, yeah, this, oh yeah no, you're right. This all should have been connected. Your bike's ready. It wasn't ready. None of the cables were put back together. So it wasn't ready. Lastly, on the work order that I noticed was that I had asked for them to put a bolt in the rear, if they could, where my tour pack is attached. Because one of the bolts, one of the, I think there's six bolts back there, one of them is missing. And I was like, oh, it must have rattled its way out. So if you could, if you have one of those, if you could put it in there, that'd be awesome. Or yeah, kid, no problem. Right? Well, I guess it was a problem because, uh, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no bolt in there, for sure. So, I could have got this kind of treatment at a place significantly closer to my house. I could have got this or better, you know, five, ten minutes from my house, not half an hour away from my house. I don't know what it is, you know. Come, come from a, a big city like myself where. The mechanics that I went to were like oh, fantastic, right? They they would go over your bike, they charge you, you know, a reasonable amount. One of the, one of them that I used to go to, actually both of them that I used to go to, would let me sit in the garage with them while it was being done. You know, just and again, that's awesome because then they're not doing stuff or not doing stuff to your bike, right? They, if I would have been able to be there. I would have been like, hey, we need to get a bolt for the back. Oh, okay. Hey, let's put all this stuff together because I would have seen the fact that they took it all apart. Right? Uh, so, I'm a, I'm a little disappointed. You know, I was thinking going to a, a cool custom spot would be awesome. I got to see inside their garage, which was neat when I went to pick it up last time and it wasn't working. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You know, they have a they have a good following and, and maybe if you're working on just a, you know, a generic Harley Davidson, right? Generic Harley Davidson or even a new Harley Davidson whatever, they probably know those bikes really well. And I get that. That's what they use. But I don't think I'll be pulling my Yamaha into them anytime soon because, you know, simple electronics, which I thought they would do a really nice custom all they did was bunch all the cables together and zip tie them i could i could have done that you know i could have done that but whatever anyways uh i don't like this guy coming out here anyways oh my windshield is doing a great job so far i did take as you guys may have seen i took the uh, uh extra piece off the top here which i had so we'll see when I get on the highway how much uh, better that is. I don't know what it is. Maybe just because it's taller. It, just, it feels wider. I know it's not wider. It's not because it goes in the same spot. It, it, but it feels wider. Anyways, uh, we'll 
be hopping on the highway for a bit, just for a bit. I'm going to drive back through town just because I feel like, you know, relaxing for my ride. Uh, maybe I think the next time I bring my bike in, I will try the place. I think it's in, I think it's in Canning. And I think that's an actual, like, Yamaha dealer or like a Yamaha authorized center kind of thing that they, you know, they work on Yamahas, so they would possibly know better, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I sure do wish I had uh, some place around here that could work on a non-Harley. It's definitely, it's definitely an issue, for sure. Definitely an issue. Anyways, uh, let's hop on the highway here and see how we feel. So I was going to head back, not on the highway, but I decided because of the time and because I have to get home to start making dinner because it's a little later than I thought it was. I thought it was just after three, but it's actually closer to four and this string is making this weird thing. So let's try to tuck that in there, maybe. So I'll do it this way. Um, you know, I'm still, I'm still just baffled. I am. I'm baffled about the service. Why is it that I can't find any kind of decent service? You know, I, I, and I'll take that back a little bit. I have to say in our little, our little town, there's a, there's a car, like a mechanic shop. And without question, they're awesome. They really are. I'm gonna actually head there before I come home because I want to ask ask him a question. But he he's fantastic, you know, super nice. I do kind of wish that this string would be just bouncing all over the place. I can't seem to tuck it in properly. Maybe I got it. I don't know. I don't know if I did or not. Doesn't matter. But yeah, they're probably one of the better places that I've dealt with. Like, he's so good. He's so good that he's done stuff for nothing for me, right? If I, if, if, if I'm, I drop it off and he'll drive me home, uh, he'll come pick me up, or he'll just, he'll literally drive the car back to my house, park it, and just be like, yeah, just, just whenever you can, come back to the shop and pay for it. <coughs> you know, not that I expect that kind of service from everybody by any means, but I don't know. You know, he, I just I trust I trust him. I built that trust with him. He's built that trust with me, and uh, I don't know. I just I just don't have it. I just don't have it with these guys. I don't. You know, bike's been in once, three times later, and they they charge me more that's not right that's not right it'd be like if i'm working on somebody's computer or something and and, and i bust let's say i break the hard drive for whatever reason i take the hard drive out and i i forget to to plug something back in i forget to plug something back in i give it back to them right or i short short out something right and uh, they come back later with their computer and they're like, hey, uh, it goes to boot up and it boots up with an error now. Oh, I'm not going to be like, well, now I'm going to charge you $100 an hour because I screwed that up when I put your computer back together. Right? Yeah, that's, a, that's what I'm getting here. That's the vibe I'm getting is that, you know, they're, they're in the right, everybody else is in the wrong. Well, uh, I, I do a, a, a lot of adding accessories to motorcycles. I ride this bike 
a lot uh, and everything has worked everything has worked until I dropped it off and then when I dropped it off things started not working it's really just that simple so I shouldn't be made to pay more when that happens because of something that they did am I am I wrong what leave leave comments down below I'm, I'm curious to, to hear what you think but that's that's my thoughts on the matter uh, outside of that uh, I'm feeling really good today outside of the fact that I just spent $160 for nothing um, but I'm feeling physically pretty good today. I woke up my foot was sore. Mary and I went for a walk yesterday for about five kilometer walk, which was nice. And then we uh, we did a whole bunch of yard work. So I was mowing the lawn and doing some stuff. And last night my feet were really sore. I woke up this morning and it's still sore. And I was like, oh, maybe, maybe my shoes are too small because I was wearing these like hiking boots. And uh, but they're all feeling good now, you know? Feeling good. My back's feeling better. It was a little sore the last few days, but it's feeling better now. That's a win. That's a win. So I'll take that. And uh, I'm confident, I think, I think as of now, and I say I'm confident as of now, I'll be excited when I go home and I look at the headlights to see if they're they're still on. If they're off when I get home, I, d I don't. I don't even know. I don't even know what to tell you, uh, you know? I, I hope they're still on. Anyways, I'm gonna leave you guys here. I think I think this will be it for me talking during the highway. We'll uh, <coughs> we'll look at the the bike once we get home, and we can figure out if uh, at least it's all still functioning. Alright, so we're home, home now, and ready, let's, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, oh, there's still light, there's still light, that's excellent, 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 so, as much as I wasn't extremely happy with having to, well, let's say I wasn't happy at all, to have to pay more, again, it's functioning, so, maybe it's a rant, maybe it's not. We'll have to see. Anyways, uh, we're home. It's looking good. It's fully functional. <sighs> Everything is the way it should be, except for my cup holder. I'm going to tighten that a little bit, I think. Uh, but yeah, it should be it should be all ready for a for a ride. Okay, guys, I'm going in the house. Later.